Hi, this is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. I'm here in San Francisco at the eMetrics Marketing Optimization Summit and uh, here with Rob Snell, who's the author of the book Starting uh, Yahoo Business for Dummies. I read it and it's a, an excellent book. There are three things that really can help you sell uh, in your online store and, and really boost things up. Uh, yes, the, the, the first of those was what? The first of those is actually take a position on a product. If you're selling something and you have 17 different variants of a product, tell me what to buy. When I'm the consumer and I'm shopping on your website, I know a little bit about the product, but I mean, you're the retailer. You know all about this stuff. You can tell based upon you know, what my needs are, you can tell me what specific product I should buy. So instead of just a product description, you really want to inject that with your opinion about the value of this for certain kinds of buyers. Absolutely, and I, really for, for, for products that, that have a higher price point, I've seen, like on our site, we had a 20% increase in conversions and revenue when we took an active position and said, this is our opinion, these products rock, these products, eh, they don't rock. Yeah. Um, you need to, for this application, you know, if you're in Texas and you're hunt, you've got a big wide ranging bird dog, you need to use this type of tracking collar versus if you're you know, hunting in the mountains, you need to use this type okay. of tracking collar. Now why do you think this works? Why do you think it boosts sales? I think people are so busy these days, it's like they don't have time to dig through all the information and make their own decisions. I like to have that information on the website. If you want to drill down and like read all the nitty gritty about the specifications or that kind of stuff, I like to have that information there. But you know, for folks who are busy, I like to have the information that says, we recommend this, this is our most popular, mm -hmm. number one bestseller. And, and they trust you now because you've, they feel like you've been there and you, can, you can guide them. And we put, we put my brother on the, um, on our family business website, we actually made him the spokes model, you know, and uh, with his, with hunting gear on, and you know, he's, we've got a little column called Steve Says right. that goes on every single product where he talks about, okay, well, this product I like to do, use it this way. Okay. And that was when we saw the 20% increase in sales and conversions by actually taking an editorial position on what products we thought folks should okay. buy. So that's number one. What's number two? The second thing, as far as like for boosting e-commerce site, is download your brain. What do you mean by that? Okay. As it might a, mean not much no. to download, you know. Well, it depends. <laughs> you don't have a USB port in the back of your head, you know, so I've got to figure out how to do this. Um, you know, as a retailer, you know so much more about your products and, and your employees know so much about products um, than your customers ever will. And it, it's like anything I can do to get that information out of your head. And one of the best ways we've done it is by looking at emails, like in, in our dog supply business. Whenever my brother's answering questions about products or, or dealing with customers, it's like he has this huge backlog of emails where maybe we didn't answer things on, on the website you know, quite the right way because people are asking really specific questions. We take those emails that he's sent, I export them all out, I've got a Macintosh, and um, we, we export all those out into a text file and then I can go through there and data mine all that content. I got a thousand pages of content from my brother's sent emails from about a year's worth of emails. So you looked for his answers. Absolutely. And then just kind of strung and, those together. And, now, so what, what good does this kind of brain uh, dump do well, for a website. Well, How does this help the first sell? Thing, the first thing is is that our employees can actually use it as a knowledge base. Instead of having an internal knowledge base, we actually have a publicly available knowledge base. It's called a product description. And on the website, you can search for you know, something and, and the customers have access to the same information that our, that our call center reps have access to. Um, the other thing is, is that from a search engine optimization standpoint, it is amazing how, how this content generates traffic because of the long tail, people doing really specific searches. Okay. So every page that's up there is fairly focused in its in, in what it's talking about. Absolutely. So and so someone's searching on some kind of obscure thing. Like what kind of range does this have? You know, when the humidity is twenty percent and it's you know, um, you know, in the winter. Yeah. You know, really obscure. Or, or you know, is this is salt water corrosive to this? Can my dog wear this and actually go out into the surf and retrieve a, you know a dummy? and bring it back in. And it's like something that, as somebody who was doing our keyword research, I would never think about those kind of terms, yeah. you know? So the more content you have that's tightly focused each page, the more likely someone that has, you know, kind of an obscure search 
words, they're likely to come to your site because you've got content on Absolutely. It. And just anything you can do. We've done it with video, we've done it with audio, as far as like when somebody's on the telephone, you know, recording one side of the conversation so that I can see what kind of questions people are asking and what, what answers we give. So this is content creation. Absolutely. Content but, is king. And you want to make it as, as easy as possible, you know, for the retailer because getting somebody, I mean, locking my brother in a room and getting him to write a buyer's guide is one of the hardest things yeah. in the world to do. Now, does this help most with generating targeted traffic or is this something that helps people find out what to buy once they're to your site, do you think? I think it's more about generate some long, ta long tail traffic, you know, obscure, more mm -hmm. obscure mm -hmm. keywords. But I think it shows product knowledge that not all the other competitors are going to have on their website. Okay. So it establishes you as an expert as well as taking an editorial position. So take an editorial position, number one. Number two, uh, put down everything you know about that product and put it on your site. Number three. The, th the third thing is more of an SEO specific thing. Search Re engine optimization. Absolutely. Um, retailers have a hard time getting links because if you have a content website and I go, you know, hey, Dr. Wilson, give me a link. You know that I'm making money off of that link because you're, I'm saying, hey, link to my cash register, please, you know? Um, and it's, it's very difficult for retailers to get links. And one of the easiest ways you can get links is look at all the people you send money to. Basically, we take a QuickBooks file, we export all the people we sent checks to in descending order by how much money we sent them, and we make sure that those people link to us. So these people might be who, for example? Basically, your suppliers, your wholesalers, your distributors, all the way down to the kid you gave a donation to, you know, when you made a donation to the high school, you want to link from that .edu page. So everybody that you're sending money to on a regular basis or even irregular, you go and ask them for a link. Yes, and that includes the, you know, Google AdWords, I'll ask them, they won't give you one, you know, but <laughs> even the, the folks at Yahoo store, but I mean, sometimes we've actually gotten, you know, it's, it's amazing who will link to you. You know, the electric company probably won't link to you, but it doesn't hurt to ask. Sure. So, so and, vendor links. So is what, we call what that. happens? Because no, some of these people will link Absolutely. to you. Absolutely. So what happens then? Well, the, you actually get the link popularity from their sites, but they actually send super targeted traffic. So, like um, um, a good example would be this company that sells uh, hunting vests to us, okay. and we actually outrank them for their keywords, for even their brand name in Google right now. Um, and they just gave us a link. And so when somebody goes and searches on their site and makes it to their site, they, um, on the dealer's page, if they click on our link, they go straight to our section page. Okay. And that's one thing I want to want to emphasize with your distributors and your, your manufacturers, make sure that those links point to the section page that has the products they sell, okay. not just your, not home your home page. page. Okay. And you get such a, a boost out of that because it's on topic, it's relevant, it usually has your keywords in the link because of the, the, uh, the uh, mm -hmm. URL. Um, that it's really easy to rank sometimes higher than the manufacturer for their own keywords. Great tips. Uh, three ways to boost your e-commerce sales. Well, tell us about your book now. All right, about two years ago, I wrote Starting a Yahoo Business for Dummies. I've been doing, I've been doing um, Yahoo stores since, uh, since 1997, actually, this was back when it was via web. And um, it's available on Amazon. Just do a search for Rob Snell or for Yahoo Store and it'll come up. Or you can go to robsnell.com and I've got links there to my Amazon page. It's a great book. Thank you. And, uh, and the, the company where you're selling dog collars and stuff? It's is gundogsupply.com. Gundogsupply.com. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks, Rob. This is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today.